Hi guys and welcome to another haul video. So I know last week on my YouTube channel was haul week and I did a haul video for you guys every single day. That is just, that's just not enough. I thought that I would film today's video because I actually did make a rather large uh, Topshop order a couple of days ago and I also have some really amazing new things to show you from River Island. So instead of just unpacking it and trying it on, I thought I would film another haul video for you guys. Um, so that's what today's video is going to be. Before I get started, word of warning, things could get pretty hot in here because it's 31 degrees in London today, like I don't even know how that's possible. It's not even that warm in Greece, but I just checked my app and it's 31 degrees. So I'm roasting, I've got my ring light on, I've got the patio door shut so that you can't hear the builders next door and so that they can't hear me. So yeah, pretty hot in here, even Dexter can't bother to do anything, he's just been lying on the floor all day, not really moving. It's just too hot for sausage dogs and it's too hot for me. So I might actually tie my hair up because I just get too hot and sweaty with my hair down. Okay, that probably looks awful but I'm alive. Someone just came and he didn't even bother knocking on the door, he just shoved a missed delivery thing through the letterbox. But I ran after him, don't you worry, I'm not sure what it is. I might go and have a look in case it's something for the haul. Hold on a sec. <laughs> it was part two of my River Island order, so actually that has worked out pretty well. Okay, so distractions aside, let's get started with the haul video. I am actually going to start with Topshop because there's a few things that I wanted to show you that I picked up in store last week. And apologies if you watched my Come Shopping With Me video that I filmed, kind of like vlogging style while I was actually shopping on Oxford Street, because you may recognise these, but I thought I'd very quickly mention them again because I love them and I think they're some of my favourite purchases in a long time. And the first one is this. I didn't actually really give this much attention on the vlog um, because I actually saw it on my way to the till. It was just hanging there right in my pathway, right in my eyeline and I just fell in love with it straight away. Every time I wear it outside, get so many compliments from my friends. I think it looks a lot more designer. It could be like Valentino or Philip Lim, but it's basically a silver box bag. It's big enough for an iPhone 6 Plus, which for me is very important when it comes to handbags. It's got a lovely gold strap, this kind of push lock detail in the middle. And I've been finding that metallics is gonna be a trend this autumn, um, at least I think it is. And I don't really love metallic clothing, but metallic accessories I love. And this is silver with gold detailing, so you can kind of wear it with silver or gold. So pick this up and absolutely love it. Having said what I just said about metallic clothing, these are kind of metallic, but they're like a pearly material. They're basically a pair of culottes. I'm not gonna try them on because I know what they look like, but I will insert a photo here of me wearing them. And because they've got an elastic waist, they're just so comfortable. They are literally like the kind of trousers that you wanna wear if you're gonna eat loads because they expand along with your tummy. I know from experience. Um, and they just look really lovely. They're a lovely length, they're a lovely lightweight material. Um, they wash well, I've washed them twice already. And I just think with a white t-shirt or a white blouse, silk t-shirt maybe, they look stunning. And I think I kind of resisted this trend for quite a while, but now I'm just obsessed with these trousers. And a second pair of trousers from my Oxford Street haul. These are a pair of wide leg trousers. Not really culottes because they're full length, or at least they're full length on me because I'm quite short. Um, but once again, really hard to show you, so I'll put a photo right here. And I've just been loving wearing these. I think I'll be wearing these into the cooler months as well because they are a fairly thick material. They're quite warm to wear. If I wore them today, I would be sweltering. Um, but I just adore the colour. This beautiful blush pink is really my favourite colour, basically. Nice and high-waisted. And instead of the uh, first ones I showed you that are quite see-through, these you can pretty much get away with wearing any underwear. Whereas those, you have to think a lot more carefully. So they're the bits and bobs I picked up in the shop. As I said, I did do like a live haul video, come shopping with me on Oxford Street, which you guys seem to have really enjoyed. So I'll leave that link down below in case you didn't catch it. And also I'm thinking of doing more videos like that on different shopping streets. So maybe like come shopping with me on Regent Street, come shopping with me in Westfield, like if I go to America in like a mall or something. So let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. But for today's video, I actually have a lot of stuff that I've ordered online. So this is my Topshop order. I've got a smaller bag here and then a massive bag. I actually think this is the biggest bag I've ever got from Topshop. I think there's a couple of pairs of shoes in here. Feels like it. Um, so that's probably why. But actually, to ease myself in, I'm going to start with the smaller bag. Okay, let's dig in. Gosh, everything's wrapped in a very fancy way. This has got like 
cardboard wrapped around it. Very strange. Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, so this is a squishy handbag or like a clutch bag. It's like this really squidgy material, quite strange. And then you've got a gold zip at the top. It's actually got a loop, uh, if I can pull it out, there we go. So the same kind of squishy material that the bag is made out of is looped around a gold chain for the clasp. And I just thought this would be quite a useful size for evenings out. I don't really have anything this size or of this design. I really like the colour. I think it'll go with a lot of my late summer kind of autumn clothing that I've been buying recently. This beautiful blush pink that just pretty much goes with everything in my wardrobe. And it is a very good size. I'll be able to fit my phone. Sorry, my phone's going off. I'm just switch that one silent. Yeah, I'll be able to fit my phone, some lipstick, my camera, and a few other bits and bobs in here. So picked that one up. And because I'm the most indecisive person in the world, I also got it in this burgundy ox blood colour. These were £32 each, so I will not be keeping both of them. I thought this was a lot more autumnal, and I don't really have any autumnal clutch bags, whereas I do probably have bags of a similar colour to that one, so maybe this one will come in more handy because I don't have anything similar, but let me know what you guys think. Which one should I keep, if any? Should I keep both? Should I not keep any of them? Let me know what your thoughts are. Next is a pair of jeans. I just love Topshop jeans. I think they're really good value per wear, and these ones are the Dree Cropped Kick Flare. I remember the days when I used to work in Topshop, I used to know all the jeans names, but now I just don't have a clue. And basically these have got the free really hems. So this has been quite stylish recently. I think they look really good with mules, that kind of shoe style. And if you have a statement pair of shoes, then I think this kind of hem really accentuates it and creates a nice frame for the shoes. So I'm hoping this will come up to about ankle length, like above the ankle, but I have got quite short legs. So I will try these on and let you know. I actually don't know how I feel about these jeans. I think I was hoping for them to be a little bit closer down at the bottom, a little bit more tight fitting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get enough use out of them because I don't know, I'm not sure if I can pull off this slightly wider look, but let me know what you guys think. What can I wear them with footwear wise? I don't know, I'm a little bit stumped. Definitely need your opinion on these, so let me know. Then I went for a classic piece. This is just a pink t-shirt from the boutique range, I believe. Uh, yeah, Topshop Boutique. And it's basically just a pink t-shirt, but I wear t-shirts all the time. As you guys know, this is my favorite color. There's really nothing terribly special about it. It is finished quite well on all the hems. It's obviously got some kind of bonded material, so it's quite a solid hem. Um, and the same on the sleeves. I think this is like, that iron-on material that just stiffens the hem. So you've got quite a quite a stiff hem on the sleeves and on the base. And again, I think just like tucked into jeans or worn with high-waisted trousers, this will look really, really lovely. Next, we're moving on to the bigger bag. It definitely feels like there's at least two shoe boxes in here. I only made this order about a week ago, but um, I can't properly remember what I ordered. So let's have a little look inside. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so the first thing inside, very well wrapped up, is a pink satin bomber jacket. And I, as you guys know, I'm not very cool. I don't really go very like gangster when it comes to my outfits. But I thought if any bomber jacket is gonna work on me, it's gonna be a pink satin one. So here it is. It's actually kind of more lilac than I was expecting. The shape is a little bit Michelin man. I thought this was quite interesting, and well, I just I just have no words, so I'm just gonna give it a try. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I am absolutely roasting. This is a very, very warm jacket, but also I can't help but feel like I look like a bit of a tit wearing this. It's just so big. It's literally like you've wrapped a pillow around your body. It is incredibly comfortable, and I'm sure it'd be super warm in winter, but I just don't know. I do like the fact that it's like double breasted, so you'd be seriously so snugly warm, but I'd also worry about getting mud on it because of this lovely pink satin material. I think it's quite a cool piece and I can definitely appreciate it, but I'm not sure it's right for me. Sorry Topshop. <laughs> Next is a pair of shoes and can't remember, oh, these are really cute. These are really cute. Look at these. So they are metallic pink. Once again, metallic accessories really coming in and they have this detail at the front. Not really sure how you describe this. It's almost like a fringing detail with a buckle and these are very Gucci. So Gucci have obviously 
bought out a load of shoes of this style this season and this heel height for me is just absolutely fabulous. I think I mentioned it in a video a little while ago that girls actually were not designed to wear flat shoes, we are designed pelvis wise to wear short heels so these are absolutely perfect. These will look really cute with the frayed hemmed trousers, hopefully if not just with white jeans I think they'll look absolutely gorgeous. I adore the colour and I'm praying these are going to be comfortable. Oh my gosh guys. I love these so much and so much more than what I was expecting to love them. They're surprisingly comfortable, they're a really snug fit. So once again, I'm gonna wear these around the house today, see how they kind of mold to my feet. But I think that these could be a really good one for like when you need to wear closed toe shoes, it's getting a bit cooler, but you're just not ready for boots. And hopefully they'd be comfy enough for all day long wear because, I don't know, my feet feel really like comfortable in them and a really good heel height too, they're not too high. What do you guys think? Oh, they look so much like Gucci, I just, I'm obsessed. And the colour, oh, just love them. Ah, oh, nice one, Topshop. Next is another pair of shoes. Let's see what these ones are like. Oh, oh, these are something else. Look how beautiful, oh, they look really big. They are a size three. These were £82, so actually fairly pricey, but then when it comes to autumn, winter, I don't know about you, but I wear boots, like, they are like my staple footwear. I always really struggle when it comes to not wearing open-toed shoes anymore, like that day when suddenly it's so cold that you just have to close your toes. I find that quite hard. I'm definitely an open-toed shoe person in summer. Um, so I thought these would be a nice like transition. I really look forward to wearing these because they're so beautiful. They've got a rose gold heel, as you can see, and then they're a beautiful taupe colour. Um, they've got a, an elastic bit here, so should be nice and snug to the foot. Really good heel height, just enough to give you a flattering middle boost, but still being easy to walk in. So I think, again, with white jeans, or even just like normal denim jeans, these are going to look so stunning. And I have a feeling these are going to be like the kind of boots that you're going to see me wearing over and over and over and over again, all over my Instagram. So. I apologise in advance for um, boot spam. I cannot even explain to you how hard it was to get this on my foot. Hence why I'm only wearing one, but yeah, maybe because my feet are so hot and they've like swelled, I don't know, but this was so hard to get on. Hopefully the shoehorn um, with socks have been much easier. But that aside, I'm in love. They are so beautiful. I think with these trousers as well, um, white jeans, they could be really cute. I don't know what else to style them with actually. If you've got any styling ideas, let me know. But the heel I just love. Yeah, I think these are absolutely beautiful. And I think I'll wear these a lot in the autumn months. What else? I think the last thing is another pair of shoes. Oh, these are gorgeous. Okay, so my final shoe purchase from Topshop are these rose gold mules. So these are pretty much what I had in mind when I picked up the trousers with the flared hem. I think these will look so stunning. They're just such a lovely statement piece. And what I like about this kind of material is that it's almost spongy. So it's gonna be hopefully really, really comfortable. Nice and leg lengthening, flattering. Again, really good heel size, walkable, but also very, very flattering. I do also think that this colour will go with quite a lot in my wardrobe. Hopefully I'll be able to wear it with skirts as well as just with jeans. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to style these up in a few different ways. These were £52, so not cheap, but um, I actually think if you get a lot of use out of something like this, that £52 for a pair of good shoes is not too bad. And I did get a student discount as well, so I got £5 off. So they were actually around £47, so not horrendous at all. But I'll try these on with a few different outfits, just to make sure I have enough options for wearing them. So cute. I absolutely adore these. The colour is just beautiful. I think the heel height is actually surprisingly wearable. They feel really comfy. So I'm going to wear them around the house today, and I will let you know how I get on. But first impressions love them. So that's everything from Topshop and now I'm going to move on to River Island. I'll start off with the bag, the one that literally just got delivered. Seeing as we're talking about shoes, I'll start off with a pair of River Island shoes and these are, oh my god, this is hilarious, these are so similar to the Topshop ones. <gasps> How funny is that? I think it's so hilarious when retailers like have very very similar things but it just proves that they are going to be on trend. These have a much lower heel and a lot more if we just compare the two. So River Island Topshop, 
Topshop ones, this bit goes up much higher across the foot. They're a little bit squidgier, whereas these are slightly thinner leather, lower heel, so probably more easy to walk in. And considering the shoe style, I think these might be more practical. I will try them both on and let you know. So here we've got, I'm wearing the Topshop shoes and the River Island ones. They are so similar. I just, oh, I just don't know which ones I prefer. So obviously the Topshop ones are higher. These River Island ones, I think maybe I'll get more use out of them. What do you think? Help me out guys, I really don't know. Next from River Island is a piece that I know I'm gonna get so much use out of and it is a gray duster jacket. So you may remember a little while ago I got the light pink one from River Island and I wore it to death, I still adore it. But as we move into autumn, I think that Pink is probably slightly more of a springtime colour and grey could potentially take me into autumn so I chose this one. It is actually a really lovely lightweight material so I could wear it in these warmer months still but yeah I will give it a try and you can see how it looks on. Okay so I've put on a jumper to try this on although I don't really need to. It does feel quite tight on the arms with the jumper so I feel like maybe this will be better with lightweight things like t-shirts but I love it. I think the colour is just perfect. I really like these side slits as well, you've got these tie details down the sides, you've got the turned up cuffs which I really like, just makes it a little bit more casual and yeah I can see myself wearing this a lot so I think this is definitely a keeper, what do you guys think, let me, let me know. And then we have something incredibly wintry, I just could not resist this because I know that these kind of things they do sell out and as ironic as it sounds, buying coats this time of year, it is the best time to get the best ones ahead of the winter season. And this from River Island, I just, I just was love at first sight. It's just so beautiful. It's a grey suede material, or maybe it's kind of like sheepskin effect. And then you've got this Mongolian fur collar, and it's like a waterfall collar. Beautiful fur on the inside, obviously not real fur. Um, and it just feels so lovely and soft. I can imagine myself wearing this a heck of a lot. When it gets to autumn winter, I'll probably do a lookbook or styling video, but I love wearing jeans, a long sleeve top or jumper, and then to keep me warm, a lovely gilet. So I will give this a try. I will roast, that is commitment to the cause, um, but I'll give this a try so you can see what it looks like on. Love, 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 love. I am already obsessed with this and I cannot wait for the weather to get cooler so I can wear it. Just love how this fur falls in the middle, like this beautiful waterfall effect. And I really like that you've got the white on the edges as well so you can see it coming through. Inside is just so snuggly, where you haven't got the Mongolian fur, you've got this like faux fur inside, which is so lovely and soft. And I like with this kind of thing that it keeps your body warm but your arms are still free to like, you know, do stuff and you don't overheat in gilets whereas your body is kept nice and warm. I just know I'm going to wear this so much. You could even wrap a little belt around the middle. I just absolutely love it. And finally we move on to the River Island carrier bag. So I can already see a shoe box. So let's start with those. <gasps> oh, I forgot how excited I was about these. How beautiful are these? Oh my gosh, they're really actually not my style and not something I would normally go for, but I could not resist them. I mean, they look so designer. They just, they don't look like anything that I've ever seen on the high street before. I don't really wear this style of shoe very much either, the slip-on style, but whether they fall off my feet or not, I'm determined to make these work. I just think they are beautiful. You've got this almost Chinese-y embroidery on it, a beautiful gold buckle, tiny little heel. I know that I'm going to get so many questions about where these are from and people are not going to believe me when I say they're River Island. So excited to wear these. You're going to be seeing these a lot. A lot, a lot. Guys, I love them. They could not be more perfect and they're super comfy as well. I'm already just so, so excited to wear these. I think they look really cute with these like tassel trousers as well. Literally obsessed. Oh, love, 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 love. And also, how expensive do they look? I feel like they look like Gucci. Love, love, love. What is in here? Oh, I remember this. Okay, so this is another thing that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. I wear these kind of strappy tops all the time. In fact, I'm probably gonna leave this on after I try it on for you guys later. It's just a beautiful blush pink color with um, quite an interesting strap detail. So you've got this almost like T-bar at the back which is just a really nice, unusual detail as opposed to the normal v-neck. There's a slight bit of detail here with, there's um, on the neckline. I don't know if you can see but there's two different types of material or it's just 
sewn in a different direction which gives it a little bit of difference. So once again I'll give these a try uh, so you can see how it looks. So the fit on this top is actually a little bit looser than I was expecting, it's quite flowy around the waist but I don't really mind that to be honest as I said I'll probably tuck it in a lot of the times in which case it'll just give it a really nice flow to it. Love the back, I really like the T-bar effect, I just think it's really just a little bit more unusual than most v-necks. Colour wise I love it, I think even when I'm not tanned it'll still look good and yeah it's not expensive and it's basically a wardrobe essential and I'm probably going to pick this up in a few more colours if I'm totally honest, I'm pretty sure they have a white one uh, and if they have a grey I might pick up a grey as well so definitely keeping this and definitely going to look for some more. And last but not least the piece de la resistance and also the most wintry thing in the whole world is this amazing coat slash cape from River Island. It's a beautiful, I think it's faux suede, although I'm not 100% sure, it could be real suede. And I actually fell in love with a River Island cape last year, but I was too slow off the mark and I missed it. There were no sizes of my size left anywhere last year, so I've gone in super, super early this year. And it's beautiful tan colour, which just goes with everything. And then you've got this Mongolian fur, again, just love the, love the curly Mongolian fur around the neck. So this is gonna be so snuggly. Beautiful gold zip detail, zippy pockets here, although I probably won't put anything in them because it might ruin the flow. But once again, really hard to show you like this, so I'm gonna give it a try. I think I do actually like this quite a lot when it's undone. It's definitely a lot more like easy, breezy. The arm slits come up to a really nice height, so while it is still a cape, you still have the movement of your arms, which is great. In fact, I'm pretty sure all capes do this, so it'd be a bit weird if you're like, stuck within your cape, so maybe that's not a valid point. Um, but yeah, so let's see what it looks like done up. I also really like the hardware on this, I think the gold looks really nice. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? I can imagine this being the sort of thing that I'm going to have to make myself wear because, I don't know, I think it's such a great statement piece but it's so easy to chuck on a normal coat whereas maybe during fashion week this will come in quite handy because it is quite a statement piece. But I just love this fur, love the hardware, and I definitely want to wear this a lot in the coming months. And that is everything from my recent hauls from Topshop and River Island. I really hope you guys enjoyed looking through these with me, and maybe it's given you some shopping inspiration as we move towards that time when no one's really sure whether to buy summer stuff or autumn stuff, but I think that all these pieces will be getting a lot of use over the next couple of months. Let me know, as always, your opinions. I'm filming this and editing it and publishing it really quickly, so plenty of time to return things, so I really do value your opinions. So let me know what you think of the pieces that I picked up in the comment section down below. As with all my haul videos, anything that is available online I will leave linked in the description box down below just to make it easier for you guys if you did fancy shopping for any of these pieces and anything that is just available in store. I'm sorry, I will leave a link to the general like bag page or whatever in Topshop because I have a feeling that that bag is only available in store. So yeah, I'll be as helpful as possible in the description box. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more hauls from me, then give this video a thumbs up that would make me very happy let's see if we can get okay this is optimistic 250 thumbs up let's see if we can get 250 I know pushing the boat out don't normally really ever hit 150 but let's see if we can go 250 and if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe thank you guys so much for 30,000 subscribers this is the first video I've filmed since hitting 30k so mind-blowing amazing thank you guys so much it is just making my making my life not making my day it's just making everything just amazing having you guys clicking that red button it means so much to me so thank you so much if you are subscribed anyway enough rambling oscar speech aside god you'd think i'd hit like a million subscribers um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye